Hey y'all, it's Brian with Voodoo Force. Now, I, anymore, uh, when I'm, I'm working the, the business I do, I do as much fabrication as I do forging, which is still a surprise to me. But um, when you're doing that kind of stuff, you cannot have enough of these clamps. Um, and the, the vice grip ones have been the ones, the Irwin vice grip uh, have been the ones that I've, I've used for years. But um, I saw these, uh, strong hand tools uh, the other day and ordered a couple of them and so today is May 30th and I'm gonna use these for the next couple of weeks and tell you what I think of them. Okay y'all well I got two of these this is the other one I already opened the other one so it comes in this big heavy bag let's get in here I guess I'm supposed to talk about how well packaged it is. It's in a bubble pack. They're made in China. I couldn't find anything about where they were made online, but on the package, it clearly says that it is made in China. Well, it says it somewhere. Anyway, I found it on here. Where'd I find it at? Maybe it's on the inside. Found it on the other one. Ah, yes, here it is. Underneath this uh, USB thing here, you whatever those are, the barcode. Underneath there, made, engineered in the USA, manufactured in China. But still, it's pretty well made. Oh, it seems pretty well made. Needs a little lubrication on that. Uh, they say you don't have the pop outs with this style as much. I'm going to compare it to uh, this is a uh, Vice Grip brand clamp. Uh, this one has more clearance than this. It's a little bigger. This is a no-name clamp. See right at the bat, I think this one's a little heavier. But anyway, now to get on using them. using these things for several weeks now and now I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, some of the big things that I really like about them, this flipping that to open it is so much more convenient than like on the Irwin the vice grip pulling that towards you. Being able to just flip that and having the whole thing open is great. I like when you're locking it you can set this nut to where you need it to be at so because it, and it's gonna you know your thing might back off a little when you're not using it when you're clamping something and unclamping it but being able to lock that where where i need it has been really helpful uh also the knob okay both have uh, you know really good texture on the knobs and the vice grip Irwin ones you can put an allen wrench in there to tighten something because you know sometimes you get on something and you really need to 
souse down on it. That's a technical term, by the way, but you need to souse down on it to get a little tighter. Well, this has got a hole in it, so you don't have to go hunting for an Allen wrench. I always have a screwdriver or something laying around. I can just stick in and tighten it. Well, not when the nuts down like that. Oh boy, now I messed up. Ah, okay. Let me get that nut off. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The only time the nut is kind of a pain is when you want to tighten it past where you've got the, the nut at. Okay, so I've got it there and I want to get it a little tighter and just turn it by sticking something in there. So that is really handy. I've only used it a couple of times, but I've never used that feature on the Irwin ones because I'm not going to go hunt up an Allen wrench to do that. Uh, overall, I mean, I like them. The, these are they're, they're, they're heavier, but I'm not taking them on the Appalachian Trail. They're, um, they're beefy. They line up. Uh, they line up as good, and then the, the rest of the function is better than the Vice Grip brand. I'm having to replace a bunch of these right now because I've got some that are finally just completely worn out and I'm going to be replacing them with the uh, strong hand tools ones. Here I'll put a link to these in the description if you want to check them out but I'm I'm sold on the things and uh, by the way I bought these. Nobody gave me these. These aren't uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a spokesperson for strong hand tools. I just wanted to try them out and let y'all know what I figured out. So anyway, that's the um, video. I hope y'all got something out of it. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or maybe some that are actually entertaining, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and y'all behave yourselves.